welcome back, it's Tasty Treat Friday. Now this recipe is not for somebody who wants a quick recipe. This is labor intensive, people. If you've ever made lasagna, you know you need to be able to withstand being in the kitchen for a while. But I promise you, it is so worth it and yummy and you will not want to go back to that store-bought lasagna because this is so good. All right, it's lasagna time, yay! I have found the best recipe for vegetable lasagna. Now, when I went vegetarian, one of the things that I missed most was lasagna because I used to eat it all the time. Our family loved it on those cold nights. That with like a little crust of garlic bread and some salad, and then it just stays nice in the fridge for leftovers for a few days later. But I haven't found very many vegetable lasagnas out there, and I just thought, can I make one on my own? And I found this incredible recipe. Um, you can always tweak it to what works best for you. I'm gonna put the whole recipe in the description box below so you can see how I normally make it and uh, what you need to make it. Now we're gonna make it together. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I am already breaking a sweat because it was <laughs> a lot of work, but it is so good and I promise you, you're gonna love it. And my favorite thing is, is now that I have discovered Young Living Essential Oils, I've added some amazing basil and it is so delicious. It just kicks the flavor up a whole bunch and you know you're getting those amazing properties with basil. Okay, so I started off with the olive oil in the pot and, uh, and then added my one chopped onion. And we're just gonna stir this until it's thoroughly cooked. Until those Onions are translucent. Okay, those are looking really good. Wish you guys could smell, it smells so good. Now I'm gonna add um, one red bell pepper. And I'm gonna add uh, one green bell pepper. Not looking pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna add in the bulk of this recipe. This is two zucchinis and two squash. And I know it looks like a lot, but we're not putting meat in this. This is the bulk of the recipe. This is what's gonna fill us up. Okay, look at the colors. It's so pretty, but we're gonna make this so delicious with a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I'm just gonna pour that in. And just mix it up. Okay, to give it some color, some green flecks of seasoning, I have got my Italian <laughs> seasoning here. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in. And I'm also gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. And um, that is just a couple little shakes. You don't want it too spicy or the kids may not be able to eat it. And then to kick this up a notch, we are adding our basil essential oil. And so I am going to add one, two drops of basil oil in our recipe here. And if you guys could smell this, oh, wish I could have you over for dinner tonight. Just gonna mix this up. And we really want this to kind of um, marinate together. I mean, the flavors are incredible. Well, at least it smells incredible. And I'm just gonna put the lid on this and let it do its thing. Okay, we're gonna get this water nice and hot, almost to the point of boiling, and then we're going to add in some uh, whole wheat noodles. And these I just got at the grocery store. And there's my 14 noodles going in, and I'm just gonna put the lid on it. Get those going. All right, next we're going to need two eggs, or what I'm gonna do is an egg replacer. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of chia seeds, with six tablespoons of water. And I'm gonna let them sit in a glass jar or glass container here. And what's gonna happen is these chia seeds are gonna turn gelatinous and it's gonna be like a binder for our cheese mixture. So of course you could use two eggs or you could try this. It's really simple to do and if you've been looking or wanting to not use um, as much animal byproducts like eggs, this is something that's really easy to do and not very expensive either. Okay, am I the only one who has like a sincere love for her KitchenAid mixer? I feel like any excuse I have to use it, I'm totally going to. And so what we're going to do is the cheesy filling for the um, lasagna. We're going to mix inside here. I'm going to show you what's in. Okay, in the mixture I put the ricotta cheese, 
I put 15 ounces of that and then I also added two ounces of Parmesan cheese and then it says eight ounces of mozzarella. I used whatever cheese we had in the fridge which I think is like a Mexican blend but I think it'll be just fine and then you need to add your two eggs or what I'm using is my egg replacer which is chia seeds and I just showed you how to make that. So I'm gonna add that to here. It's kind of turned into a gel and what that's gonna do is help bind the egg mixture together. Now, if you want to use eggs, go for it. Do what you love. <laughs> and it looks like that. <laughs> okay, next I have the assembly station set up. I've got the whole lasagna mixture sauce with our amazing fresh vegetables. All of the noodles are ready and drained. And then our cheesy mixture and our pan. And so we're just gonna start assembling. So now we're gonna assemble it. Sauce, noodles, cheese. Sauce, noodles, cheese. <laughs> Sauce, noodles, cheese. And then I put um, a final layer of lots of cheese. All right, in it goes, yay. All right, we'll see you in 20 minutes. Lasagna. <laughs> That's it. That's the vegetable lasagna. I hope you guys love it. I hope you try it. And if you do, make sure you do hashtag Madero Green Moments so I can see it. Thanks, guys. Yay.